good morning everybody just excuse me if i look a bit like if i look like i've been crying <laughs> i've just sneezed about seven times so my eyes are watering a little bit today i thought i would do a what i eat in a day i've just made a coffee which i'm really enjoying because it's so cold the weather is miserable today it's just it's going going to be raining all day so I'm really <laughs> really enjoying a hot coffee and I'm just about to get started on the breakfast today for breakfast I'm making apple pie porridge I've really been fancying porridge since the weather has cooled down so that's what I'm making for breakfast today so I will show you how to make it the ingredients are really basic all you need is some oats also i'm using some unsweetened coconut milk but you could use any milk that you want so because it's apple pie oats we need a apple and some cinnamon so i'll show you how to how to make this delicious breakfast <laughs> so the first step is to get the apple ready and you're going to need a grater because we're going to be grating the apple the first time I made this, I I diced up the apple rather than grating it and it just, it didn't cook, like the, the oats cooked quicker than the apple so it wasn't like a nice consistency. So yeah, I found if you grate the apple, everything kind of cooks at the same time and it, it tastes really, really nice. I'm peeling it as well. Okay, apple is peeled, really easy, just get your grater and just grate um, all of the apple. Watch your fingers of course. <laughs> so once we have the apple peeled, um, you can pop it into a little saucepan. And then we just add the coconut milk and the oats. Um, I'm just going to get my scale. So I, I do 35 grams of the oats. And I do 200 mils of unsweetened coconut milk. Again, you can use just regular milk or um, almond milk, whatever you prefer. And that is it. Then we're just going to bring it over to the stove. And we just want to let that simmer for probably about I don't know, I think it takes about two or three minutes. I haven't really timed it before, but um, I'll show you. I'll show you how the consistency uh, should look. I mean, I'm sure you all know how to make porridge. This isn't like, it's not like rocket science, is it? <laughs> so this is the type of consistency that I like, like really nice and thick. I'm just going to add some of this cinnamon on top. You could add maybe a bit of maple syrup or honey to it, but I don't, I feel like the apple gives it um, quite a bit of sweetness, so I don't add anything extra to it. It's, it's just delicious. It's like nice and creamy and you have these really nice little bits of apple it's yeah it's really really it's like a nice comforting comforting brekkie <laughs>
it is my morning snack time so I have just gone ahead and made myself two Ray Vito crackers I put 50 grams of cottage cheese and some cucumber on it and yeah this is what I'll be having for my mid-morning snack so yeah I am going to go sit down and enjoy this oh just got a text <laughs> and see who just texts me. <laughs> It is lunch time and for lunch I'm having some eggs on toast. <laughs> Just keeping it really really simple today for lunch. And the bread I'm using is this country split bread. It's just a loaf that I've had frozen so I'm just going to take out a couple of slices and pop them in the toaster and I'm also having my favourite smoky barbecue sauce. This this sauce tastes amazing. It's so good with eggs and chips as well. Really good with chips. lunch is done look how good that looks I've also got um, two pickles as well I'm obsessed with these pickles they're the sweet and sour type I'm going to go enjoy it while it's still nice and warm <laughs> into the kitchen which is really nice. I'm having a bit of a late afternoon snack today. It's 4.30. Usually I have my afternoon snack about 3 but the time just got away from me. Today I'm having a Yopro yogurt. Every day I try to get as close to my protein um, target as I can so um, I always try and find like high protein snacks and this is like one of my go-to's because they have 15 grams the Yopro or the Chobani they're both really good I'm having just this one today this is a vanilla flavor and we have had <laughs> these pears in our cupboard for months I would probably say like seven months <laughs> and I was going through all our food the other day and I was like you know what I'm going to add this to my meal plan for next week so um, I'm just having a hundred grams of this pears in juice with some yogurt yogurt with some pears I actually can't remember how many calories this is off the top of my head I think it's about 200 but I will leave all of the calorie information somewhere on the screen for you guys it is dinner time and tonight for dinner I'm making chicken katsu burritos they're actually really, really yummy. I've, I've had this for dinner uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and tonight is the fourth night that I'm having it, and I'm not tired of it yet. Like, it's, yeah, it's, it's really yummy, and it's so easy to make. I'm kind of cheating with the, the chicken katsu, 
katsu part because I'm just using chicken schnitzel. I'm not coating my own chicken or anything. I bought this chicken schnitzel from Woolies. It comes in a pack of four. I think they're really delicious and they just take 20 minutes in the oven so this is what I use for the chicken part of the chicken katsu burrito these are 150 grams each I have been having 100 grams of them because that's what I worked out um, calorie wise <laughs> so yeah I kind of just chop a little bit off the end so I'm going to pop this in the oven now and then when it's nearly done I will show you how I make the burritos my chicken schnitzels have two minutes left in the oven so i'm going to get everything else prepared not that there's very much to do but for the burrito part i'm just using these little mini tortillas from old el paso i have two of them they're pretty tiny for two of these it's about 150 calories which isn't bad and I just pop them in the microwave for like 30 seconds just to get them nice and warm. I'm also using some of this fine cut coleslaw. This is just from Woolies. I just like grab a handful and pop it on top of the chicken. I bought this tonkatsu sauce because I thought it would be really nice. It says tonkatsu is a Japanese deep fried crumbled meat dish with sauce. This flavoursome tonkatsu sauce um, goes well with meat. So I thought it would be nice, but I don't really like it. So I'm not going to use it, but I just thought I would show you guys because if you like, it's kind of like a soy, soy sauce kind of. If you like that type of sauce, it's like a little option. Um, but I am using some mayo. I'm using 12 mils, which is half of the serving size because Mayo is so high in calories. For 12 mils, hold on, I'll tell you. 650. It's 77 calories for 12 mils, and 12 mils isn't very much. Okay, the chicken's done. I'll pop this in the microwave. How easy they are to make they're honestly so delicious they're like crispy crunchy juicy chicken burritos they're so good so easy and I'm gonna go eat these while they're nice and nice and warm <laughs> It is dessert time in the, the James household. I just made Jay a mocha and I'm having a decaf tea. And for dessert, Jay is having a Tim Tam. Not just any Tim Tam. <laughs> a salted double choc Tim Tam. That sounds pretty good actually. And I am having a little crunchy bar. And when I say little, <laughs> It's like tiny, <laughs> a tiny little country. And that ends, hang on, this lens is dirty. And that ends my what I eat in a day video for this week. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And I will see you all again in my next video. <laughs> Bye.